Uh, first, uh, how do I do it? Does it work? Yes, first, the team as usual, uh, uh, that's part of the team, the, the part who were there in 2010. And uh, you can recognize uh, our friend Hervé Heim. Uh, most of you can recognize Nicolas, uh, myself, I was younger, uh, and uh, all of us were younger. Uh, and uh, Jocelyn, who was uh, with uh, Hervé, Hervé uh, in charge of the excavations. Well, uh, everybody knows what uh, uh, I have to go here. Yeah, w uh, what Caesarea is. Uh, it's uh, um, it has been uh, well excavated in the 50s uh, and from the 50s to the to 2000 uh, to show that we have here uh, a, a town founded by uh, Herod the Great. Um, and it was extended to a uh, large-scale uh, Roman city and Byzantine city afterwards. Uh, in the fifth century, uh, a wall was built around this area, including uh, uh, the theater here. Uh, well, there are a lot of things, but, but, but uh, our concern in 2007 was only this part of the town, which is the medieval town. And for us, as we are first French, secondly uh, interested in fortification, was to look at the, uh, at the fortification of uh, uh, Louis the, the Ninth, uh, which was uh, carried out in 1251-52, uh, very, very fast. Uh, and uh, this uh, fortification was was not published, and we intended to study it and to, to publish it. So an uh, aerial view of the city. <laughs> well, uh, what uh, what was standing at Celarea uh, in the 1870s was what you see here. Uh, it was the ruins of the uh, of the walls um, left by uh, by Bars, uh, as he destroyed totally the the city in 1265. Uh, that was uh, ten years after, in 1880, when uh, a Bosnian colony uh, was uh, placed in Caesarea and built houses over the walls uh, using all the all materials of the city. Uh, in uh, in uh, 1963 uh, the site was totally emptied of the of this uh, uh, houses Bosnian houses by Avraham Negev who did a thorough job of uh, uh, recovering all the, the moats around the fortification and to restore them. Well, some views. I go very fast because we don't have a lot of time. Everybody knows that. So we, our intention was to study each of the towers of these uh, walls, to study also the castle, and to try to characterize the architecture of uh, this uh, fortification uh, carried out, uh, I said it, in two years. That's what we intended to do, to look at the ancient photographies, to look at the, uh, the ruins uh, at present time of the same building, that the tower one, it's a, it's a tower gate, and we uh, we started a survey, a complete survey of the of the towers. Well, as you can see here, I pass quickly with a construction of what could have been uh, these fortifications, with the rest what uh, can be seen on site at present time. 
you can see that was essentially an architectural work. But, 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 um, when making our survey, we found that there were some bizarre things uh, on the top of the destroyed towers, and it showed clearly, clearly that inside of the towers, some of them uh, kept uh, remains of uh, more ancient structures. So we decided to ask for permission to excavate two of the, of the towers. Uh, one was already uh, into excavation by Sifi Porat. It was Tower, tower uh, 3, and we will come back to uh, uh, afterwards. So the, the main, uh, the main uh, excavation was in Tower 6, as one, uh, one of the towers. You see here clearly, after the clearing of all the veg vegetation, that we see clearly an embedded uh, masonry here, embedded in the uh, uh, tower of uh, Louis uh, the Ninth. Uh, the excavation was led during two years with uh, Jocelyn and uh, Hervé, and we had the surprise to arrive at the level of uh, the Cardo, uh, the Byzantine Cardo, uh, Cardo Maximus, uh, and to see that we had uh, on, uh, on it uh, the foundation of an old world who was totally destroyed, totally robbed by the Bosnian in, in the 19th century. So that the, uh, uh, the excavation, I will pass quickly. So we, uh, we carried out all the archaeological studies. Uh, um, we studied the ceramics in QRV, where are you? Uh, he did all the job. Uh, and uh, we did also the uh, archaeological diagrams which showed that we uh, can see in this very tower uh, some phases, uh, at least three phases, two phases of destruction, uh, voluntary or not, we don't know, and uh, a phase of big destruction here by Saladin, or is it here, and the reconstruction by uh, Louis the Ninth. The material found inside the, the excavation showed that it was, it was clearly early Muslim and that it was rests of a tower of the Muslim walls of uh, Caesarea. Now, uh, I pass quickly, so quickly what we discovered, what we uh, reconstructed of that with all the phases of destruction, construction, destruction again, reconstruction of the back wall, destruction by Saladin, reconstruction by Louis the Ninth, till it was complete. Uh, we excavated a tower near to, uh, close to the six, that was at seven. And inside it, at the beginning, that what we saw and were discuss, were, when discussing it with the local archaeologists, he told us, well, the rest of a Bosnian structure. Well, we, we dug it in, into it, and we found that we had an ancient pillar here, antique, from Roman or Byzantine origin, and that uh, it was um, it was strengthened by two buttresses afterwards and finally enclosed in a first tower and secondly by the tower of Louis the Ninth. Well, I uh, show you some picture inside of the excavation of the uh, antique pillar which was un entirely 
uh, plastered in Muslim time. Uh, well, I have to come back here, I think. Uh, only one step back to show you. I think there was another one, but maybe, no. Okay. Uh, what was interesting in this tower, we found in uh, the, at the bottom a mosaic contemporaneous of the uh, cardo, which shows that this structure was the first tower was built directly on the ground and that uh, uh, the, the Muslim walls had no uh, moat. Tower 9 is again a gate. <coughs> so here we, we conducted no, not an excavation, but only a uh, um, masonry uh, survey. And here we made it very thorough. I, I pass quickly because I don't have a lot of time. So uh, what we showed in the investigation is that there are a first structure, antique here, which is perhaps the base of one of the pillar of a perhaps existing tetrapile, uh, which is the uh, uh, theory of Sir Joseph Patrick. Uh, afterwards, it was embedded in a Muslim tower, which is consistent with the Muslim wall, and afterwards enclosed in the uh, uh, with ninth structure. Okay, you have here the evolution of uh, the site. Well, uh, last but not least, that was the Tower 3, uh, excavated by Sefi Porat at this time. We didn't uh, beneficiate from uh, uh, Sefi Porat's results. Uh, they were not published, and he didn't, uh, he didn't want to, to share them, and it's natural. So we made, uh, so that was the state of the uh, tower as we, as we saw it, uh, and as uh, Sefi uh, excavated it. Here we made uh, a plan of all the structure visible uh, as we were there, and we tried to analyze this structure uh, looking only at the masonry. So I know that Vardit is doing the same at present time, I hope we will discuss it further afterwards. In minutes. So, I'm going very, very fast. So, some very, very fast. You are going through the, through the ages. What is important is that uh, what we discovered at the end of the day is that uh, before the wall of uh, with the Nines, there was an uh, entire wall built entirely at the Muslim time with uh, towers and large buttresses uh, placed in a, a very consistent rhythm with the old colonnade, antique colonnade. And that the uh, towers of the Louis IX walls were only embedding all this old walls. So I will not say anything more since my friend Robert is going to kill me. Uh, we did an investigation in the castle which is really, really more difficult than uh, in the towers because it was transformed in a cafe and uh, well, it's not easy to do that in a cafe, but we tried to do it well, I show it very briefly. It, it's a nonsense to, to, to show slides at, at this speed, but uh, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> so I'm showing you the drawings. That's the only thing that's interesting. OK, uh, that was it. That was seven, 10 years ago. Now it's old. New excavation, fi fine place. And I hope they will discover further more rest of the of the world. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> <laughs>